Hi, I'm Tim Berglund. I'd like to show you how to monitor a KSQL based streaming application using Confluent Control Center. I'm using the Control Center demo that we've got on GitHub under Confluent Inc. slash CP demo. There's a whole separate video showing how to get that set up. Make sure you watch that video and follow along with the steps if you haven't yet. So uh, that demo that we set up shows you how to monitor Kafka streaming ETL deployments using Control Center. Specifically in this video, we're looking at KSQL. KSQL is a declarative stream processing language that looks an awful lot like ANSI SQL. So it makes sense that you might want to be able to monitor particular KSQL queries and particular streams from Confluent Control Center. For a data source, we have a Kafka Connect connector that's pulling information, uh, updates really, about Wikipedia edits from IRC, of all places, and writing those messages to a topic called Wikipedia Parsed. Let's navigate in Control Center to that topic. We do that by clicking on Topics over on the left, that's a relatively new feature, and then clicking on the Wikipedia Parsed topic. Uh, pull up the menu and click Inspect. And now we can see the contents of the topic constantly being refreshed because the source connector is running and pulling in new Wikipedia edits all the time. As you can see, the topic inspector shows us the messages in a JSON-like format, even though the messages happen to be in Avro. And because they're Avro messages, we can then click on the schema tab and see the schema that's associated with the topic. Now let's navigate down to the KSQL interface by clicking on the link on the left. The first thing we see is a list of the streams we've got defined. You might be wondering where these streams came from. Well, the startup script we ran in our setup video is the place. So not only is there a separate video that did the setup, but inside that video, there was a script doing it. So we've got a lot of things that are prepared just to make things easier for what we're trying to do right now. Notice we've created a stream called Wikipedia that has the underlying topic called Wikipedia parsed, which is just the topic we looked at just a minute ago. We can look at the details of this stream and right there is the schema, all the field names and their types. We have row time, which is the message create time, row key, which is the key for the message, and then all the rest of the things that's created at wiki page, channel, and so on down the list. Those are just the fields in the schema of the underlying topic. It's Avro data, so KSQL can pick up the schema automatically from the Confluent Schema Registry. We can also list the queries that are running on those streams. These are real-time queries that are constantly processing any new data as it arrives. So the connect connector will pull in the new page edits from the IRC channel, and these KSQL queries process that data immediately. Now let's say we want to figure out which wiki page edits are made by humans and which ones are maybe made by bots of some kind. Happily, the stream has a flag called isBot, I guess that makes our lives easier, uh, but using KSQL, we can filter out the two kinds of edits based on that field. Our second query does that. It filters to just edits made by humans, whereas query three is just the bots. You know, in case you wanted to know what was on the bots' minds and what sort of Wikipedia topics they're interested in. Now let's look at some windowing. This is a key concept in stream processing. Say we wanted to find out when a single user is making frequent edits to a single page. Well, what's a frequent edit? Uh, that really implies a certain number of edits within a certain amount of time, and that's a window. Our query is going to group by Wikipedia page and username, and then count edits within a five minute tumbling window. A tumbling window is just one that goes from uh, here to here to here, and th they never overlap those windows. Uh, this aggregation results in a table of counts. So let's look at that table. Now let's do a select on it and see the values in the table. And this is on live data, mind you, being processed in real time by the KSQL engine. So let's go to the control center topic inspector to see the data in the underlying topic. We're interested in the EN Wikipedia GT1 topic. So we'll click on the menu and select inspect. And now we can see right here inside control center, the data in this topic. Notice that there's some good data and also some records that say undefined. 
You could also call those nulls. Now, this is just an artifact of windowing, and it's really nearly an implementation detail. You'll see some nulls within a given window if you examine the topic directly like this. Now, your downstream application doesn't care about this underlying detail, and because of that, KSQL itself won't surface those nulls to an application. You don't see them when you're looking at the KSQL table. But maybe your downstream application actually does want to consume from the underlying topic directly. So let's filter the nulls out. This is where our next query comes in. We take the previous stream and filter out to where row time is not null, and write to a new topic called, famously, uh, EN Wikipedia GT1 counts. Now, let's go inspect that topic. Notice here, there's just good data and no more nulls. This is what your downstream application, or say, a Kafka Connect connector that's taking that topic and dumping it into some external sink, this is what those sort of things most likely want to see, the data with no nulls there. So this is a brief explanation of what you're seeing in KSQL itself, but now let's look to Confluent Control Center and see if KSQL queries look any different from any other stream from a monitoring standpoint. So here we are in the streams monitoring view. We have a comprehensive view of a stream resulting from a KSQL query. The data transferred, the latency, the detail on consumer group assignment, all of it. Scrolling down, we even see the streams created internally by KSQL for its own housekeeping. Monitoring these can be important for future sizing of the KSQL cluster. But the overall point is that monitoring a KSQL application doesn't look a whole lot different from monitoring a Kafka Streams app. And right there are just a few pointers on how to monitor and use KSQL from Confluent Control Center. It's important for those of us who are operating the cluster to know how to keep tabs on those queries. And now it's great for the folks writing the queries as of Control Center 5 that you can inspect topics, run queries, and examine their results. Check it out.